Hello, little lady. Astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Wasn't really anything special. Wasn't the toughest dragon I've fought. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. Ha! <laughs> you mistake me for someone normal. Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. <laughs> it's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Yeah, likely. How long will that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Why not? Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. What if I just kill him again? What if I get to actually kill him this time? We found my mother alive. Wow, there's so much stuff here. Affects the Elder Scrolls. All kinds of alchemical reagents. What did you want? So there's the Elder Scroll. Let me let me just snatch, snatch, snatch all this stuff up. I do not want the paper. It is quite ah, and I take a piece of the paper. Stupid paper! All right, almost there, almost there. Okay, Elder Scroll time. Blood. Well, now we have two of the three. Valerica, what's next? Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll. You should be on your Yeah, why am I asking you what's next? You're actually totally ignorant. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. So? If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. God, you're a fool. We could use your help in Tamriel. At as least until I get tired of you and kill you. you and Serana back alone. I can't take the risk. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. Shh. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. Sure, sure. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. How much do you really value the her? Get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. Huh. <laughs> Why do I see an epic boss battle happening between me and Harkon? I guess that's okay. I don't necessarily need to be on his side. I just definitely don't want to be on their side. God, annoying winches! Okay, I think we can leave the Soul Cairn, uh, but that would leave one thing undone, and I'm not okay with that. So, uh, I have got to find these last two pages. Whoa. Right as soon as I walk out, uh, Mr. Dernavir apparently wants to have a word with me. So, uh, let's give myself a little bit of leverage in this chat, and let him know he's gonna have to mess with me full force if he wants to again. I would speak with you, Quinarin. Quinarin? I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Oof. Didn't you try to kill me? The hostility was necessary. I was bound to it. Was oath. bound? So, why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. I'm flattered. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes. Sure, but sure. I have never once been felled on the field of battle. Well, it was the first time for everything. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in Vanquisher! Okay, okay, maybe you're maybe you're okay. I found you equally worth that's bull. I wiped him out like he was a stain on a shirt. Great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result <laughs> of our battle. Quinarin. Quinarin. Call me Banquisher, dude. I don't I like this Quinarin talk. I wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Help free you? What kind of a favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. What if I told you I'd kill you if I saw you there? What's stopping you from leaving? 
I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. That's unfortunate. How could I help? You I go wane. I will my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Huh. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen. Graze Mazen. Teach you my oh, okay, okay. Graze Mazen, I gotta remember that. He's my Graze Mazen. Just call your name in Tamriel, that's it. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. Durnavir. I don't require my answer, Quindari. Uh. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Durnavir. I'm interested now, Durnavir. How did you end up in the Soul Cairn? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But oh, wow. those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. Were you a part of all that? I was. But unlike some of my brethren, yeah, I bet you I did. sought solutions outside the norm I in bet. order to maintain my superiority. Yeah, right. Just like Parthenax is peaceful, to right? I explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. Oh, you fool. You had more power than you can imagine. So you sought the Soul Cairn for answers. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched. That I could raise legions of the undead. <laughs> In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. Turns out she's an immortal vampire. <laughs> they didn't tell you she was immortal. <laughs> I discovered too late that the ideal masters favor deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Is that why you're free now? Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. Vanquisher? The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. <laughs> I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there, through your call. <laughs> Why do you call me Kunarin? I guess I'll ask again. He already told me, but it seems like there's more dialogue here. In my language. The Quanaran is the vanquisher. The vanquisher. The one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Many fellow Dovas, correction there, sir. Many, many. I am not a dragon. Even in the Soul Cairn, the defeat of the World Eater has reached <laughs> my ears, Dova King. I wonder if I hadn't completed that quest, what he you would say may here. not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of title. Of course, I've defeated the most powerful of the dragons. I'm more powerful than the Dova. Okay, well, I now have a different dragon that I can summon. Wow. Boy, he is a creepy looking bugger too, isn't he? I can see right through part of his chest plate. It's almost as if the Soul Cairn is just like melting him away. It's so odd. Okay, well, I wonder if I have to buy this. I would assume I don't. I would assume he just gave it to me, right? Uh, let's see. Call Dragon, no. Dinvarak, no. No. Oh, summon, uh, Durnavir. That's really, why do I keep saying Dinvarak? Durnavir, curse never dying. Okay, it does take souls for each one. Um, actually, I guess, uh, I guess it's all one, right? All three of them? It's not. Holy crap. I don't think I can even summon him with just one word of it. Huh. 
Well, there it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and favorite it. I will use that at some point just to see him fight. Uh, that's probably not going to be in this episode, though. What, uh, return to Tamriel? I guess I can go ahead and include that in case there's any kind of dialogue or anything upon leaving the Soul Cairn. But I think I'm about done here. Uh, let's get the horse out. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, uh, I've managed to find another page of Weeb's Opus. Um, it's one that I actually passed up just the way I came up. Uh, I ran right by it, didn't even know it. Uh, of course, the page is on the ground. The pages are quite small, so I can understand how that happened. Um, there's a structure out here that has a bit of a labyrinth in it. Uh, you can see the fortress is right over there to my east. Let me uh, get rid of uh, oh, our bag. That's not that's not what I wanted. Let's uh, let's redo that real fast. Um, so there are a couple enemies in here. Uh, there is a uh, one of the soulstone conduits up on the top. And if I remember correctly, to go through this maze, let's see here. Actually, I think this is the right way to go. You gotta go through the spectral sword. Um, eventually, we'll get to the end of it, and there's a uh, there's a portal. Let's see. I think it was the very end. Yeah, here we go. So uh, once you get on this little portal, you'll come up to the roof. And uh, you guys may remember I came through this area, and I was kind of mad about getting up there and not really getting any loot. Uh, of course, I was being foolish. Of course, there's loot up here. You come up on it from this side, and uh, and the page is on the opposite side. So let's see, page nine. Minutes, but I finally managed to do it. As my eyes adjusted to the dim light of my new surroundings, I realized that I was standing before Lord Vivek himself. He was simply staring at me, floating above his throne and staring at me with his piercing eyes. When I began to prostrate myself as a sign of respect, he held up one of his hands as if to say it wasn't necessary. Was I dead? Was Lord Vivek pleased with me? Was he cut off the way I am? Oh, no, I want to pick that up. I don't want to set that back down. Okay, so that leaves one more page. Okay, I am going to become dogged in my determination. We have got to find this final page. Oh, I almost forgot to take a look at Conjure Mist Man as well. It looks like it's an adept level spell. And uh, as far as I know, the Mist Man is a magic user. So, um, a little bit more powerful than the Bone Man, not as powerful as the Wrath Man. Which again, I've uh, I've decided not to use the Wrath Man over my uh, my regular Dramor Lords. Boy, they are neat looking, aren't they? Probably won't use them too much, though. All right, uh, let's continue on to finding this last damn page. Aha! Uh -huh. I got you, little bugger! Apparently, this was another case of me just being blind. Another one that I had went right by. Uh, this one is even more visible than the last. Um, so I'm along the wall of the fortress. You can't really see the towers of the fortress. Um, but I'm, I'm way on the far east side of the fortress. Um, so this is really close to that one floating tower that uh, had the keeper on it. Uh, and it is right back up in this little alcove, right next to this chest. I even already looted this chest. Somehow I missed seeing Weeb's page here. Strider was tiring, but I couldn't give up. I had sworn to eliminate the foul beasts to the last, and I wasn't about to let it go. If I was going to stop the thing, I'd have to do it fast. I pulled my longbow from my back and knocked my last arrow. I took a deep breath and pulled, trying to keep the cliff racer in my sights. It was literally a long shot with the beast gaining distance. So, that's the final page of Weeb's Opus. Let's go talk to Weeb real fast. Then we can take our leave of this soul-infested graveyard. Yes, that was it. Weeb. <laughs> what do you want? What exactly are you doing? How does anyone expect me? to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions. Opus? What do you mean? What do I mean, indeed? That sounds if so I horrible. If lost all of the pages, I wouldn't be in this predicament, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. If you hadn't lost all the pages, we wouldn't be having this conversation, because I wouldn't be seeking you out. Let's just start at the beginning. Very well. I suppose a moment or two of my time couldn't hurt. Saran is listening intently. I am Jib. Oh, Jib. Some call I've been me saying Saint it wrong. Jib. Others call me Jib the Eradicator. 
Uh, perhaps you heard of me. Jib. Nope, never heard of you. I can't say that I'm surprised by your answer. Until I get my second volume published, no one will ever know of my achievements. You're talking about a book. A book? I'd hardly call a 26 volume epic simply a book. <laughs> 26 volume? Surely you've heard of the rise and fall of St. Jim the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. Yeah. Maybe a shorter title is in order? <laughs> Maybe you should leave the writing to an expert. Stop making foolish suggestions. How is your work going so far? Terrible. Simply terrible. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into this prison. It's prison. unfair. He's deluded. Prison, you mean the soul cairn. Soul what? What in the name of a Vic are you talking about? All I remember is that damn Dramora and his minions bursting into my home and sending me to their prison. Is that where you are now, then? The Dramora captured you? Well, I assume so. It cast a spell at me from some kind of strange black crystal. Yeah. Yeah. I arrived here. Yeah, so about that. Your soul was trapped. My what? Wait. That means... You're... dead. No. All these wasted months. Or has it been years? I don't even remember how much time has passed. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. Years have passed since you spoke to the prisoner on the boat to Morrowind. Could I help? Perhaps. Do you have a way out of here? For me, yes. I do, but you can't. You can't leave that way. Maybe I can't leave. But my writings can. Ah, okay. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. Otherwise, I need to do all of this from memory. Possible. How many pages did you lose? When I was tossed in here, I felt myself falling. And I dropped the pages I had been holding. Ten. There were ten of them. Yes! All. Good deal. Find them for me, please. I beg you. The tenth one ends, so that was pretty, pretty obvious. Impatience of a saint! Why would a Dramore attack you? Let's just get straight to it. Here's all of the pages. Finally! I never thought I'd see these again. I can tell you're happy. These pages meant the world to me. Thank you. So now what? Now volume two begins. What else? I'll be off then. Oh, wait a moment. Here, I, I want you to have these before you go. Was he going to give me a, a book? A Christine copy of my first volume. Only one in print, actually. Huh. <laughs> and take this as well. Seeing as St. Jib has ascended to pure spiritual form, <laughs> I won't need it any longer. Ascended. How rich. So all the pages? One, two, three, four, at least? I assume it's going to be absolutely all of the pages. I hope it's going to pull all of those out of my inventory. I'm going to give it just a second and see if it'll tell me uh, what item he gave me. Poor Jib. Come on, where's the item? St. Jib's Opus added. That's the book, I'm sure. Locket of St. Jib added. Okay, so that's probably an armor piece. A quote-unquote armor piece. So, uh, let me see real fast. I just want to read this. St. Jib's Opus. The rise and fall of St. Jib the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. So, uh, are these the pages? Yeah, these are the exact pages now, all, uh, all linked together. Interesting. Well, you've, you've heard essentially the story, even though you heard it in a very broken manner. Um, I am not going to take the time to reread it. Uh, I basically know he killed a bunch of cliff racers. Vivek loved him for it. Locket of St. Jib. Carrying capacity increased by a whopping 50 points. Increases your stamina by 50 points. Both decent, decently high values. Um, of course, that is not going to 
Replace my Choker of the Divine. How could it? Uh, where's Serana run off to? Okay, I think I can take my leave of this horrid place. Let's head back to the stairs leading out of the Soul Cairn. Or are you wasting my I suppose before I leave, I could go ahead and uh, use the rest of my Soul Husks. Uh, I think I'm going to... Let's try some of the larger items. Steel Helmet of Alteration? I think I've got enough for one more. Yep, keep going, keep going. Come on, Morvin! Come on, come on! A battle axe, let's try it. Holy Ebony Battle Axe! Okay, so that one is actually probably pretty valuable. And I've only got 18 left, so I don't have enough for another. And I'm really close to my carry weight now. Yeah, 3k? I'll keep that until I leave. I'm about to leave anyway. Um, I don't think this helmet is going to be worth a lot. Where did it even go? I kind of want to drop it because... Huh. I am probably... Oh, there it is. Steel Helmet of... Not even 600 gold value. Okay, uh, out we go. Alrighty, Soul Cairn. Well, thank you for being such a gracious host. Relinquishing your hold on all of those lingering souls I'm walking out of here with. It's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. It's been real dark and dreary. So there Serana follows me. I imagine the Soul Cairn will stay open. Um, I wonder if those, uh, those soul fishers, uh, I wonder if they, they re-pop. Oh, I just got a, uh, I just got an achievement. And now I can go out onto the balcony. Castle Volkahar balcony discovered. So what is this all about? Uh, interesting. I think this is going to give me an easy way out, but I don't necessarily just want to jump off without... Uh, knowing, actually, no, this does not look like it's going to give me much of an easy way out. This looks like it may just be a, uh, huh, just like a little area for show. How strange. I wonder if they're going to add something in here eventually. Oh, no, that's why it's there. Okay, that's super cool. So there's the fast travel to Castle Volkahar, then there's the fast travel straight to the balcony. So, uh, that basically just gives you a fast travel point that lets you really easily come straight into Valerica's study. Ah, that's cool. Okay, well, uh, I don't think... Yeah, see, that, that finished that quest. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go straight back to, uh, to, uh, Lord Harkin yet. Um, I still need to get the other scroll, the dragon scroll from, uh... Uh, from Urag, because that's who I sold it to. Um, and, and even before that, I think I'm going to do a little bit of searching for uh, some side quests to see if there are any others like around the castle with any of the people. I'm going to go talk to everybody, look in every little nook and cranny. Uh, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.